Candy Couple. I'm Julia. Erin's behind the camera today. And today I wanted to go over our grocery haul and stockpile haul and also a little homestead <laughs> work haul here that we have. But before we get started, please, we would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Um, so we did mention that we were going to be talking about our groceries and how we're really trying to watch that budget. And I will say that for us, we've really tried to mix in our stockpiling when we catch things on sale or a really good deal, as well as our homesteading, and I'll get to that in just a second, and then our regular grocery um, budget in with what we spend. So this week I spent around $50 for all of this. And while that doesn't seem like a lot, there's some more stuff behind that we'll chill. <laughs> pull out in a minute <laughs> yeah so um well the ice cream i won't pull out so we did right. get some ice cream it'll stay in the refrigerator um, freezer freezer and <laughs> not in the fridge <laughs> this is um a treat we get when it's on sale it's not on sale very often and we only get one particular brand when it's on sale um and aaron loves ice cream so if i ever said no ice cream he would divorce me <laughs> like it's understood uh, so let's get the homestead. This is actually probably the most expensive thing we bought here. Um, we got some raw kombucha. This well, was what is raw gin, ginger. Kombucha. Well, it's ginger, but yeah. it's raw kombucha. It's ginger flavor. Right. And what we're trying to do is we are trying to make our own scoby so we can make our own kombucha going forward. Now, problem is in our area, it is very, very hard to find plain unflavored kombucha like you can find every flavor under the sun in our area but you cannot find like ginger is about as neutral as we can find so we can find it with what 50 miles outside of here yeah so this is our second go making this or third go making a scoby we had some issues before the house was colder it was right before the remodel and things just sort of got a little crazy yeah that right there was 9.99 so that's ten dollars of it. ten dollars so that's homesteading right there that's part of the homestead grocery budget now i will tell you this week i'm cheating a little bit with our meal I needed something really fast, really easy. It's a really busy week for us uh, because we're off, so we're gonna be working a lot. Um, so I wanted my cooking day to be really slow. <laughs> so we're doing raviolis. And we're doing them because not only are they really easy, throw them in a crock pot, add some sauce, and you are done. Just let it set, it's set and forget. The baby loves them. And these are the Dollar Tree. These ones. are the Dollar Tree brand. I was I was hesitant to try them until Southern Frugal Mama tried them and said they were really good. So uh, we are a cheese ravioli family. We have tried the meat ones. Uh, the meat quality is just so bad. It's so bad. Um, we also got some Texas toast, and I, I know six six slices doesn't seem like it would go very far, but for us it will. What we'll do is we'll take one slice, split it between the three of us. Aaron gets the outside, me and the baby get some of the inside. It works out good for us. Um, the fries, yes, I, I, this is a convenience item for me, especially right now. And we only eat these on the weekend. And this will last us probably about a month and a half to two months. Whenever we're really busy, throw some on a sheet with like a chicken patty or something like that. That is a meal for us when we're really busy on a weekend um, evening milk we have to have milk so we got whole milk for the baby milk for us and then we did get some freeze dried strawberries she really likes these and these are so good for her in the afternoon i will say you can get them at the dollar tree they're whole <laughs> she don't and she is yeah. not able to chew those mm -hmm. at this point but they're not they're more expensive they're more expensive now these have went up when we first started getting these these were three dollars you can get a bigger bag of sam's for nine dollars um it's three times the size these were 372 so they have went up in price i will say that um we also have a loaf of bread again really busy week this week we're just doing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches i have some peanut butter and jelly we need to use up so we got a loaf of bread and i don't want to heat up the house so we're still keeping our air conditioner off so we don't want to heat the house up so we're keeping the air conditioning off and this is just another way i can Get a loaf of bread and not use electricity to have to heat the house up to bake a loaf of bread now my stockpile items so you all know from watching our videos 
We had used up a lot of our um, shelf stable milk because it goes out in October. These go out next May, so I'm replenishing what we have. So every month I'll buy a couple of these just so we have plenty and then next summer I'll use those up and replenish again. So it's just a constant cycle, cycling these out to have them on hand. Now I also got um, enchilada sauce, bread sauce. We love bread sauce and I've tried to make it homemade <laughs> and it has not worked out well. It just doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste as good to me. Um, but this one, when I looked at the ingredients, there was another one they had that had a white cheese sauce, but when I looked at the ingredients, I put it back. This one doesn't really have anything bad in it. It's mostly just water, tomato, chili, peppers, cornstarch, citric acid, salt, garlic, onion, black pepper, paprika, oregano, and thyme. That's it. That's all it is. So I got two cans of this. This is for our stockpile. And this is where I meant to end my stockpile this month, but I found these. <laughs> so we do like lentils and I do try to get like a bag or two bags a month whenever we're at the grocery store. I kind of stopped the house remodel, but um, we do like lentils and this was a pound. Now they do carry bags that are 12 ounces, but this is 16 ounces at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I thought that was a really good deal. It was the only bag I could find. So I grabbed the one bag I could find and this is our pantry restock, my working pantry fill up for the month. Oh, and the bacon. <laughs> Oops. Uh, if you saw me point, I was pointing at the bacon. Yeah, bacon was on sale. This was, so a lot of people have bacon on sale, but you have to watch the ounces. Um, they had Hormel bacon on sale at Food City. It was $3.99. This was also $3.99, but it's the Food Lion brand. Um, the difference is one was 12 ounces and one was 16. So for us, $4 is for 16 ounces is about the best you're going to find. Um, it's so, high as we usually ever pay for bacon. The highest we ever Unless pay. it's the premium. It normally then I still try to keep it at $4 right. a pound. The the Wright Brothers, um, that's the premium high end. Now I will say that when our local Amish store has it, they typically have it around $3.50 to $4 per pound as well. We'll probably go the next time they have that stockpile on it and put it in the freezer. But this was a good price and this will last us to breakfast. So I don't cook all this at once. I'll do half now, half later, and that will last us two Saturdays or Sundays. Um, so that's really, it doesn't seem like a lot and it's really not, but in all reality, it's 40 bucks when you take this out because this is for- Including the ice cream. Including the ice cream, which you which not pulling out. Which was six bucks. It was $6. For two. Mm -hmm. Not for one. <laughs> <laughs> so again, this week is a bit different for us. Um, we are just trying to get as much done as we can while we have a few days off for the holiday and really just trying to rush through some things. But this was more, that this is really a, uh, it, it's a convenience item that I, I, I just have to have on hand right now until I find a way to have them on hand personally that we like to eat. That's been a problem, trying to find homemade fries from the freezer that we enjoy eating. So any final thoughts? I thought we did pretty good. Yeah, no, um, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff and will keep us on a good track for a month was. Yeah. So as always, if you have any comments, questions, please feel free to email us at thecandycouple at yahoo.com. And thank you for joining us where we work hard, live simple, and enjoy life. Have a wonderful day.